Welcome back to Star Fox Adventures. If you remember last time, we were five scarabs short of getting the thing that we need. Yes, Peppy, I know. We need to get that big thing. It does help me. But now, I'm going to show you a way to get a whole bunch of money really easily, and you don't even have to do a whole lot. First thing you do is you go over here and you pick up this pot, throw it, and... Up, 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 up. Yeah, come on, get over here. There! Ten scarabs. I could stop there, but if you lift this rock... Oh, boom. There's two more. That gives you 30 scarabs. So we got 155. Then we save. Oh. And then we quit. Okay, okay. And then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you can see, we're 71% done with the game. Holy crap. Reload your game. You'll wind up back at Thorntail Hollow. Slippy, uh. Slippy, you'll want to tell me that very, very useful information again. Yes, that did help me. And we head back over here. And oh, look at that. That little thing has respawned, as I think it did. Yep, there it is. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. And we go back over to this rock, and oh, hey, look at that. So much more monies. That's right. Repeat, rinse, and repeat again until you have the infinite amount of scarabs that you need, which is what I'm going to be doing. So, all right. I have now have full health, full magic, and full scarabs. We are ready to buy the last thing from the store. <gasps> Hooray! Thank you for that helpful tip. I never would have thought of that. Asterisk, the last two things from the store. Damn it. <laughs> you had my hopes up. The first thing is the thing I really didn't notice until just now. That's a cheat well. What? And I'll give you a cheat token. Remember these things? Uh, no. These are cheat tokens. We use them in the game well maze that the warp stone can take us to. We won't do that until the very, 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 very last part of the game, though, so... We, have, we got one in the Snowhorn Wastes, and now we got one here. I'm gonna try and get all of them. And we'll see what they do. And I walked into the wrong room. My bad. I completely forgot that there were such things as cheat tokens. Do they just give you like little cosmetic changes, or what are they doing? Mm, you'll see, my friend. Right now, let's let's buy this snowhorn artifact. I had 125 scarabs before, but let's haggle a little bit. How far can we go down? Let's see. <laughs> 125, please. 110. Wait, what? Okay, I'll show you. What? <laughs> but if I but if I were to show up with 125 scarabs, she'd be like, "Put that back! You don't have enough scarabs!" So I give her less than I give her less than enough scarabs. And you, whatever. At least we fucking got it now. Now what do we do with it? Well, you take it back to Snowhorn Waste, obviously, right? No, oh, yeah, obviously. Yeah, that's the that's the obvious thing to do. So let's go do that. What do you say? Okay, yeah, that's yeah, all yeah. Good. All right, yeah. Now I'm just wanting to think that uh, whatever it is that sells you the stuff, does she happen to notice how much money is in your pockets? Like, does she judge your worthiness, worth? Uh, does she judge your worth by how much your pockets are jingling when you come into the store? Well, the way I see it, uh, she's a dinosaur, and uh, dinosaurs have very tiny brains. So, yeah. He's saying she's slightly stupid. Only slightly. Yes. Slightly. There's a couple H's in there. She knows how the economy works, so that's good for her, but... Oh, I mean, uh, look at this place. The economy has been destroyed. Got to make way with what... You gotta make do with what you have. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you literally have a monopoly over this entire planet, miss. Yeah, there is no other stores in the game. <laughs> Except, except for the toll people and uh, the the uh, yeah the toll the toll booths. That's it. Which that's are really probably run by her, if you think about it. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, I fucking hate this part. Let's skip it. <laughs> okay. All right, that's done. That's done. Let's go ahead and hotkey our gold route so we can give it to whatever idiot needs it. Do you remember who needs it? Uh, probably a dinosaur. Someone from like way back in like episode three or so. Oh, you think I remember that far back? What? It's only been 20... Oh, jeez. Over 20 episodes ago. 
Hey! <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that he remembers that you gave him money and never charges you again. That would suck. That would be awful. Alright, so... It's just this guy that we met once, and we didn't know what the hell he was talking about, and now we have to remember that it was that guy who was talking about, and this is the thing that he needed. Wait. Really? Remember this guy? Is it coming back to you? Uh... A little bit? This guy right here? Oh! Yeah. Oh, what a sad day. My golden root <laughs> oh, has been no. stolen. Oh, that's, that's too bad, buddy. Luckily, I have it. I don't believe it. This item was Neither stolen from me many years ago. So every day is a sad day. Around the same time that a strange floating dinosaur Every day I don't have my gold root. Sad day. In return, I will give you the chance to prove yourself. Okay, fuck this part. Fuck this so hard. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Remember the horn we had before, too? Gotta use that again. Blow it on these pads. What does that do? That puts up another pad somewhere. Oh. All right, so, game pats is on it back, and we're off we go. Oh. I'm thinking, where the hell was the fireplace, though? Where, where did I remember seeing a fireplace? I don't oh, remember seeing God. one around here. Let's see. Let's check down here first. Hmm, I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh-huh. Uh, to, uh, uh, huh. Is that Dick's? Oh, I already dug there. Okay. Well, anyway, I thought there was one around here. Maybe it's uh, sort of down here. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Where the? Okay, maybe not. Uh, maybe you're wrong on that one. Hmm. Well, maybe it's in here. I'm sure there's one around here somewhere too. Yeah, it's gotta be. This is like a whole other place that we haven't really explored yet. And not down here either. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, it's so hard to navigate around here. Oh, jeez. Five, four, three, two. <laughs> Damn it! Oh well. And the game just dumps you back with no oh, loss God, of health or anything. Oh, God, I thought the anything. game crashed. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh, God, what happened? <laughs> oh, God. You suck so bad you broke your GameCube. Well, uh, I'm going the wrong ass way. Really? The game points you in the wrong direction. There's an up? It's not up there. It's not up there. I don't know why I'm looking up there, because it's not fucking up there. Well... What? I've fucked myself over now. Yeah, it's it's not around here. I can see there's a bonfire, but there's no pad nearby. So, where is this mystery place he's talking about? There's no way I could reach it in that amount of time and blow a, a fucking horn to it, so... Ah. Well, time to wait for the game to crash. Yeah, three, two, one. one. See you guys later! Uh all right, I know where to go now. Like I said, we were going the exact wrong way. You do not go in front. Behind him? You go behind. Oh, really? Look, look at that ice wall that's there that totally we didn't know about and the came could have at least pointed us in that direction so we kept the right way. Oh. And there's your fucking pad. And uh, check this out, when you blow the horn, that also takes time. A good, like, three seconds, too. Oh, great, where the fuck is that now? Do I, do I go back, or do we keep going? Looks like we can keep going. Ah, there we go. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping it, it would have, you know, less tricks and something that should be really simple. All right, so I'm, like, fucking freaking out right now, so, uh, I have a guide open. And the thing about guides from, uh, IGN in, like, early 2000 or whatever, like, you know, 2003, 2004. They're not very descriptive. <laughs> so I have a guy who's not, that's not really all that helpful, so... You gotta shoot a blaster in that thing in the tree to knock it down, so... That's how that works, and there's that path. Well, something, good. something, all right, that's the last one. Power of three, right? That, well, okay, I guess I can do another one. Well, luckily, I know exactly where that is. Finally, some familiar territory. So, excuse me, I just... Uh, uh, okay. Invisible walls. Yes. Can't, can't do that. That's that's great. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> what? Uh, okay. Oh god. Well, I'm fucked. Or are you? No. No. This is not gonna go well. Roll. Do the Ten, Zelda thing. Roll nine, everywhere. Eight. 
Seven. Uh, right there. All right, all right. And three, two, one. Uh, ah! Yeah! Oh. Whew. Well, I had 30 seconds, but now it's turned into like 22. All of a sudden. Thanks for the cutscene. Yeah. Thanks, guys. This one oh, seems you... this one seems easier compared to others. You got this one. Yeah. You got this. Once I play it, there you go. I had to be standing on the pad, otherwise it's just gonna say, nope, don't recognize it. Oh god, another one? Okay, yeah, I know where that is too. That's right by where I was where I thought the first one was the first time. Yeah, alright. Go. Did you just miss the turn? I think I did. <laughs> they forgot to add a death animation or like a failure animation, so guess what? We gotta do it all over again! I'm biting myself right now. Hello? Uh, skip ahead a bit. I'm so sorry. Aiming is hard, I mentioned that. Who sets the tree back up? And then there's this. Oh. Oh. Cold water. Oh. Only way to get back up is through that, so yeah. Oh. I'm thinking, well, I just better stop now then. Didn't we help that guy? And he's punishing us. I th that's what I'm thinking. It's like, hey, yeah, thanks for getting my golden root back. Now I'm gonna test you. I'm thinking that these other uh, mammoths, I mean, snow horns. Mammoth. I wonder if they're all, they're all just saying, uh, oh, did that guy get you doing the pads again? <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> Listen, it's all bullshit. He's just fucking with you. Don't take it too seriously. Oh, God. So now I remember where it was. It's up here. I was, I'm trying to piece together my memory of this place. So I'm thinking, all right, I got it. That's got to be the last one. Nope. Where the fuck's that? Oh Where my god. Where the fuck is that one? I've never been there. You kidding me? Where's that at? Yeah, great. Now I gotta traverse the whole fucking terrain again. I'm running around like a chicken without its head. This is crazy. Shouldn't you know every single pixel of this game? Apparently not. Because <laughs> I have to go against all of my intuitions, it seems. Hey, look at this. Tree falls. Oh shit, 10 seconds. Thanks for that cutscene. I'm glad that we could do that. Oh, great. Oh, God! It's right there. Your kid's right there! Oh, God! <laughs> All right, let's give this another go. We've got a full minute now, because I was hauling ass to these pads. Because the quicker you, that you get to the pads, the more time is added on, so that way you can have plenty of time to climb up that wall at the end. Those tricky, tricky game designers, they uh, want to give them a hug with the fucking... Anyway, let's get to solving that puzzle. And then five more pads come up. They only oh. give you a minute to step on all five. You need to find the four keys in order to unlock the last door that what? opens to the last pad. No! <laughs> 30 seconds, go! <laughs> oh my God. All right, that's, that's the ultimate run. All right, we fucking got it now. And look, there's two fuel cells and some health as a reward for my troubles. And then it teleports you back to in front of the mammoth. That's it. All right. And look at that. A Krizoa shrine as well. Nice. Oh, lovely. Nice. Fucking lovely. Yes. Two fuel cells. We're looking pretty. All right. Where was that guy again? I don't know. Don't ask me. Where was that guy again? <laughs> oh, God. He was somewhere, wasn't he? If you want to find the mammoth, please solve my pad puzzle. I just did! Oh, so fucking- Hey, look at that! Give me 20 scarabs, 
and I'll give you a cheat token. While I'm wandering around aimlessly, let's go ahead and get ourselves a third cheat token. Again, these will be revealed probably towards the end of the game, like towards the very fucking end of the game. So there's that. Now, where the hell is this guy? All right, all right, I got my bearings. I know where he's at. You see here, he's right over there. In that one little area that I couldn't reach that was behind that uh, ice wall we had to melt. You know, I have a map to this place, and yet it tells me so very little. But now, you know Fox could do backflips. Now we're here. And just, oh God, Fox, get on the fucking land already. <laughs> you have problems with land and ice. You, Fox, and good luck on your quest. Oh Thank yeah. You. Oh yeah, buddy. The feeling's so mutual. In fact, let me give you a big old hug. Tell me how much I feel about you. Thank you. What is he thanking you for? Getting his gold root. And, doing well, and, and then throwing you through Armageddon? The pads had no, no reason to be. To, there, there was nothing there, but whatever. This is our th uh, fourth Krizoa shrine now. How does it compare to the other ones? Well, <laughs> getting there is hell and a half. Let me tell you something, son. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't get over the fact that that mammoth. Hey, thanks for giving me my gold root. Let me extend the game time by not opening this door until you finish my game. It'd be like. It'd be like you finding uh, my long-lost copy of Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games for the DS, and to thank you, I give you a Rubik's Cube saying, solve this before I give you your real reward. That's so stupid. And this is the longest goddamn ladder in existence. Snake eater. Sorry. <laughs> that was awesome, though, because it was cinematic and all that. This is just... Well, we forgot to put a rocket boost pad here, so... <laughs> and then I look, and I see what they're making me do. Number one, they've got those things which is going to destroy my uh, barrel when I get a chance. And two, the floor is ice. You see that? Dun, 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 da, da, da. This is the best Star Fox game in existence. But it hasn't begun yet, so... Now that I can go, uh... Without any problems. Uh, remember the game Don't Break the Ice? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. This looks like uh, an awesome version of that. I'm just thinking, like, that game got intense of Don't Break the Ice. All those kinds of games did. Well, I'm, I'm just thinking, like, the thing you were just walking on, that's like, the next move loses. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, <laughs> that's, that's how crazy we got in Don't Break the Ice, man. And now... I see what they have to they have me to do, but where's the barrel? There should be a barrel here. Where the fuck is my barrel? Why don't I have a barrel? I mean, that just does that. And then I see that thing moving, and I realize what that is. That's a thing to move my barrel from one side to the other, which means... You know what we gotta do now? Nah, I'm still clueless. We gotta go back and get that nah. barrel. Back to where we once belong. Yep. And did you hear that? They respawn. I'm thinking, okay, okay, okay. Maybe I can just get through. Oh shit! Oh shit! I love this game. Comedy of errors. So good. So so good a game. This gave me my ten scares for my troubles. I do like though that the rocket boost and the power smash are different colors now so I can differentiate them easier now. That is a blessing. It's not a blessing as having to shoot these guys all over again. Ah. Ah. That's pretty much been this Let's Play. Just, uh, you cracking jokes and me just going, ah. Yeah, sometimes I just sit back and watch in awe and amazement as you basically kill yourself. That's what I do all the time. I kill myself. But now we've got our barrel. So that's a good thing, I suppose. I'm gonna make sure that uh, we get plenty of time here. Uh -huh. And put it right fucking there. Alright. I see the pattern of what to do now. And we're good. If the barrel touches that fire, we're doomed. 
So I'm going to start it like that so that we got plenty of time. I'm fading out through these parts. All right, here it comes. This is how it's going to work. It's going to bring up that thing. It's going to pass by the first uh, flame pillar, no problem. But then, once it changes direction, like there, do it. Oh, and, wait. And then once it changes direction again, there, do it again. And you're golden. Ah, okay. I was wondering if you saw the third one over there. Yep, I did. Don't worry, this is a good run. This is just tedious. It, it wants to make sure that my barrel uh, skills are improving. Yeah, this far into the game, you still don't got it. We got According two more shrines left, man. Oh and then, god. and then, oh god, what, what do we do here? Hmm. Uh, hmm. Go for broke. Go for it. Boing, boing, <laughs> boing. Help. All right, so there's a the thing over there, and oh, that's gonna be tough. Mm hmm. Where's my barrel? Oh, there it is. Oh, there. Uh, <laughs> floating in negative space. Okay, that's how physics work. Okay, okay. Oh, oh. If okay. it touches the wall, it explodes. No! Thank thankfully, no. Thankfully, no. And thankfully, there's no time limit. I would have killed him if they'd done that. Beat this guy up. And it looks like that there's just three pillars and just a wall separating me from my conquest, so... <laughs> oh, no. How do you think this is gonna go down? Is there a oh. switch up here I gotta press? Just checking around, making sure I got all my options right. All right, nothing there. Looking good so far. K, 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 K. Get this. All right. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. Wait for the right timing. Wait for the right timing. Wait for the right timing. All right, all right. Center one's down and go! Yeah! Ah! <laughs> Oh, you set yourself on fire. The tradition continues. Well, after all that, how how difficult must uh, this Krizoa's test be? Because the last one was so difficult, right? We were there forever. So how bad do you think this can be? All right. Defeat the Sharp Claw. Here we go. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, man. Press A. Mash A. And... Uh... Mash A and... Uh... Done. Are you kidding? Got, got it. Wow, that's awesome. NBD! Just showing my strength. Because I ain't got no fear no more, apparently. Oh, yeah, all your fear is. Ah! <laughs> Except for that. That still scares me. I mean, he's possessed by the spirit. Are we as, are we playing as Fox, or are we playing as the Krozoa spirit inside of Fox? There's a separate theory going around. No wonder why this game is rated T for teen. Whoa. Intense shit you just can't normally do, you know? No, Star Fox. Gritty reboot, no. So we got a Krizoa spirit. That's great. Let's make our way to, to Thorntail Hollow now. Can we use it to, like, infect the minds of the other beings around here to do our bidding? Why do you think they're the spirits of the planet? <laughs> They've lost Hi. their hive mind and everything's all in disarray, so they need a mammal to come and save them. Oh, that's... that's actually pretty funny. It's okay. I have thumbs. I can save you all. He is the Messiah! <gasps> He got my golden root back! Ungrateful mammoths. You think Sleepy would get a kick out of this place? Because they're kind of like his people and all. Lizards, amphibians. It's good to talk to someone who's cold-blooded for once! Shut up, Slippy. Oh, they still hate me. But they really love me, I know. <laughs> Don't leave me again. Ah, uh, we're skipping this again. Cause fuck this puzzle too. Slippy has separation anxiety. And here we are back in Thorn Tail Hollow. Huh. You got a feeling this game's kind of running out of ideas. Uh, I I thought that about two dungeons ago. 
Well, now we're really running out of ideas. Actually, you know, the most original idea it's had in a long time was killing T-Rexes. That was kind of awesome. That was cool, but, uh... We got one more spellstone to get, which we're gonna go right to immediately after we get this Krizoa Spirit. Like, literally, it's, it's, it's gonna go, like, super fast by now. By the way, all our stuff's back, so let's refill on that. Excellent. Yes, good, good, good. <laughs> we go to fight General Scales. Scales. You need 200 scarabs to fight me. I got you covered, Scales. What? How can you be so rich, a mammal like you? How can you understand our fucked up economy? <laughs> you have learned the ways of our currency. I am nothing now. Do you even know how to check if they're real or not? You gotta bite into them. I did. You see all the headless scarabs. Well, that's the Warp Stone. We're going to be heading there next time on Let's Play Star Fox Adventures. Come here, you big lug. Wow.